if you want, you can prepare your phone or your camera for recording video of the palace. All right, very big, fancy, and kind of luxury. It's over there. You see that? The fork just right there. Yep, that's the palace. I told you. So that palace area belongs to UNESCO. Now no more. No more. Only outside. Uh, only the specific area which is allowed to protect the mountain to produce the terrible production. And we have not only Vietnamese factory, we also have international factory. For example, on the right hand side here, we have a Japanese factory, OK Food Vietnam. And they they manufacture the rice cake for eating. And next to the Japanese factory here, we have Korean factory, Wing Dai. Yeah, they are uh, the vehicle from Korea. And uh, later, we will go back to the city by this way. And if you want to buy a car, please come. Right? And a lot of nowadays, we woke up everybody from a different country in the world. Come to Vietnam and have their holiday here. And also come to Vietnam, invest for our country. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender, or your religion. As long as you're here with goodwill, we welcome everybody. And also, you come to Vietnam and you spend your money here, we also welcome everybody. Indian rupees, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, American dollars, any kind of money. Welcome to Vietnam. Alright? And uh, you can see that we have a we that factory in Ningbin. But across the whole country, we have all the big factory, big brand from uh, different places like Samsung, LG, Canon, Intel chip, the laptop of the PC. Uh, and again, for the beer, Boeing for the plane, machine. Uh, Lego factory, still under construction. It's start to work around 2034. Or Nike factory. For example, about Nike, they manufacture around 600 million shoes in the world and 51% from Vietnam. So I think in your country, when you go to the Nike store, some of the shoes made in Vietnam, right? Yeah. So the quality of the shoes, the authentic one, manufactures in Vietnam, Nike shoes. And if you have any chance, I think you can buy some products which is made in Vietnam, like in the old water. They have jacket, t-shirt, uh, and shoes. You can go around buy them for yourself. If they don't have market price, then you can try to bargain. Ten percent or thirty percent of the price. Okay. And uh, so you see that we have uh, a lot of factories. And back to Ningbing here about the tourist destination. Here we have a uh, binding. Here we have binding pagoda, one of the biggest and longest pagoda in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia. Today, we will not go to that place, but maybe next time you come back to Lingbing, you can book a tour to go visit that place because once you go inside, you can have a chance to see the statue of the Buddha. 100 tons, made by bronze and copper by gold outside. The statue of Lady Buddha, 80 tons, Bit by bronze and covered by gold outside. One thousand arms, one thousand eyes. And there are many, many big statues inside that place. And uh, that place, that pagoda, very big, very wide. More than 500 hectares. So normally you need to buy the ticket for the electric car to go around that place. And uh, you can go inside, pray for yourself or your family member. Okay. And about the boat trip, today we have Chang'an. But maybe next time you can book a tour. Go to Bangkok, Tung Nam, Tung Jin, Tung Mei, Tung Nang, Vân Long. And each place has its own beauty. And uh, yeah, so next time when you have a chance to come back here, bring more friends, more family members, okay? And uh, yeah, many things for you to see, many things for you to visit here. And how about people here in Ningbing? Population, 
100 million people. Uh, I'm sorry, in England, 1 million people. Okay? And uh, here they do many kind of jobs. They work in the factory. They ground the boat for you this afternoon. They plant the rice and they hurt the animals. We have cow, water buffalo, chicken, nuts, goats, and goats. Do you know the goats? Here, the farmer, they don't keep the goats inside the cage. They just leave the goat walking around. So if you are lucky, sometimes you see the goats on the mountain. Sometimes you see the goats on the streets. And sometimes you see the goats on the table. And uh, yeah, it is the famous food of Ningbing. The goats here, they hide the mountain. So the meat of the goat is chewy, it is tough. And today you, can, you guys can have a chance to try salty goats. And you can eat that one with the ginger sauce. We have another food, so-called burnt rice. The local people, they cook the rice. They dry it under the sun and deep fry it with the oil. It becomes like a snack. It's very crunchy. You can eat that one directly or you can eat that one with the soup. Today, two famous food, burnt rice with the soup, salty goat with the ginger sauce. And food is served in the local restaurant. And the food here, it is different when I know it's eating. It is also different with your country. When we have lunch today, some of us here, they like it. Some of us here, they don't like it. Because it tastes weird. It tastes strange. It tastes not good. Not like their home cook. But it is a new experience for you. If you like it, eat it a lot. Bring the big belly back to the city. If you don't like it, try the new food. Have the new experience. Today we have no pizza, no lasagna, curry, steak, hamburger, only Vietnamese food. Alright? Hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, food we have it after the activities outside. Now it is time for you to get ready. Bring your phone, camera, sun cream, some sun cream, sunglasses, maybe not necessary today. Uh, and also money. Later you will see some local people. There's so many kind of items. And if you want to buy, then remember ask for the price first it is very important for you okay ask for the price first and there are some camera men they are big camera and they take picture for tourists one picture one dollar two dollars two pictures one dollar and uh, ladies and gentlemen they will sell you not only one picture but they will sell you a big album with a lot of photos it is more than 10 us dollars or maybe more than 20 us dollars so i think one or two picture, it is enough for you. If you don't want to buy, then remember, say the password. No, thank you. Ignore them and go away. All right? Make sure you say something because if you don't say anything, they will keep following you back to another city. All right? <laughs> so, make sure you say something. And now it is time for you to be prepared. Bring anything you need for the journey outside. Big belonging, just leave on the bus. Sooner or later, we will come back here. So you need, don't need to ask me, can I leave my belonging here? Of course you can. No problem at all. Just leave here. All right. And also, our company will be here for you. Good job. All right. Keep it with you for the whole journey. Please don't throw it away. If you throw it away, then throw it inside. Trust me, because this one is from plastic. We need the safe environment. And also, on the bus here, if you have any chance, you can throw outside, inside. Or trust me. Okay. This one. Keep it with you for the whole journey. And uh, we only have one person, one poncho. Alright, so right now we'd like to give it to you. Please, get ready. We will run that in a couple minutes. Alright. Okay. 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 Okay.
And this place was chosen as the first capital of Vietnam from the year 968 to the year 1010 throughout 42 years, three dynasties Ling Dynasty, Lê Dynasty, and Li Dynasty. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, in front of you right here is the image shared for the tourists, for the local people about the history of the two years in Ling Dynasty. Yeah. Alright, and right now I would like to share to you and because of it is history, so I hope nobody falls into sleep. <laughs> Alright, guys, you can come closer and we can leave space for all the tourists and we'll pass over. Alright, so uh, can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Alright, so here about the first dynasty of Vietnam. The story started in the year 938. At that time, we gained independence from China, put an end for 1,000 years of the Chinese domination. But the king, he did not reign for a long time. And after his death, the country was fallen into civil war. Heroes and warlords seized their power to claim the land and claim the territory. And at that time, we call that event of 12 Chaos Clans, and they were fighting for Tron. At that time, there was a little boy who named Ping Bo Ling, was born here, smart kid with a brave heart. And he often hanging around with the kids in the village, playing games, riding buffalo. And the winner, we decide the green grass for the buffalo. And the children in the village called Ding Bo Ling, it is the boy who never lose. And his buffaloes always big and chubby. Yeah, you can come over here. Take a look right here. This is uh, Ding Bo Ling. This is the uh, boy who was born in my Ning Bing. Yeah, sorry, land Ning Bing land here. And this is the children in the village riding buffalo, playing games, fighting each other. All right. And uh, yeah, you see the buffalo over there. Yeah, his buffalo. See that? His buffalo. And uh, you see, later when he grew up, he traveled around the country with his friends. And they saw, they witnessed many battles occur around the country. And Ling Bo Ling, he believed that when everybody is in the same heartbeat, it would be easy target for enemy outside China. So he with his friends together, recruit all the heroes around the country and together defeated 12 chaos clans and Ding Bo Ling he defeated them not only by fighting also using his trick using his mind to make them surrender so we don't need to shed blood here okay, come over here this is the young man with his friends together defeated 12 chaos clans and together Reunified her country into one. Yeah. So uh, he becomes the first emperor of Vietnam after 1,000 years of the Chinese domination. And here, this is the ceremony. This is the ceremony of the emperor. He chose here as the first capital because you can take a look around here. Limestone Mountain. Very good for defending their country. Why do you need to waste a lot of money to build a wall when you can have a mountain here? So yeah, mountain for defending your country. Right? And here it is the hometown of Ling Bo Ling. So he knows where he can hide, where he can fight. He declared himself as an emperor. He changed them from Ling Bo Ling to the Ping Tien Hoa. Ling, it is the family name. Tian, it means the first one. And Hua, it means emperor. He declares himself as the emperor to compare with China. Because emperor rule a nation, a country. King 
smaller rules of province, not a nation. An emperor wearing yellow costume like the skin of a dragon. A king only wearing red color. If you watch Asian dramas or Asian uh, uh, mythology or something like that, you recognize that one. And Ding Tien Hoa, he built the first state of Vietnam in Ning Bing with a civil Mandarin and military force. He ordered to mint the first coin of Vietnam. Yeah, so we have the money for trading. You see that? Civil Mandarin and military force. Yeah, both sides. You see that? And uh, you see that after 1,000 years, now we have independence. We have our own territory, our own country, and our own emperor. So we are not afraid of anyone anymore. If is there any invasion, any enemies, then we have somebody to stand out and help us. So the contribution of the emperor is to reunify the whole country into one. So he has the capital, the as the emperor, and built the first step of the town in Ningbing. Right? And the first dynasty lasts for 12 years, 968 to 980. The second dynasty will come over here. Okay, yeah, first it's about the second dynasty. So, Emperor Ding Tien Hoa, he passes away. And his family, his children, it was too small to become the new leader. So the queen, she was standing behind everything at that time. In China, they heard about the death of the emperor. They knew about the country, no throne, no emperor. Only queen and the boy running in the country. So they decided to send the army here to get more land. And to make sure this country we have a right leader, the queen, she had to marry the general. And here, this is the son of the emperor, too small. This is the queen. The queen wearing yellow costume. And this is the general, Le Huan. And Le Huan become the new emperor. This was the beginning of the second dynasty and the end of the first dynasty. And Emperor Le Huan, he prepared the army to defend the country from two enemies outside. Chinese invasion from the north and Champa invasion from the central of the north. Come over here. The battle in the south central of Vietnam with the elephant. This is the battle on the river against the Chinese invasion. Chinese they came to Vietnam by two ways. From the land and from the sea. Well from the sea, we have the tactic that we put the spike under the river. And when the tide comes, it covers everything. So you will know nothing will come to you. And they were defeated on Bacang River in 900. In 81 and Champa in 982, so two years fight. After the war, Emperor Le Huan he still chose here as the capital and he had an idea that opened the country down south 50 kilometers. So, as I told you before, the ship of our country this was on the bus, so the ship of Vietnam nowadays it is the letter S, right? But at this time, this was like this. So Emperor Le Huan, he opened the country down south, 50 kilometer. So it was longer, a little bit. And after the war, Emperor Le Huan, he sent the army back home, worked as farmer. And farmer worked as soldier. We call it being known. That means we can prepare the army anytime we want and train for the farmer to have the solidarity of the soldier. You can see that every war in Vietnam, we always have the appearance of the farmer. And this was from 10th century. And uh, to encourage everybody working on rice field, Emperor Le Huan, he established a festival, so-called Thick Vien Festival. And every lunar new year, the emperor, he goes to rice field, Farming in the rice field with the buffalo. You see it from the one above all, now below the farmer. Same with the farmer. Easy for you to encourage everybody. 
So the specs between the emperor and the people, not anymore. Everybody is the same. You know you come over here. Coming on the right side, the buffalo, right? The king and local people, farmer. The uh, second dynasty end in 1009. Third dynasty, we have Emperor Li Tai Tong. He felt about this place not good for economy because Ningbing has low land. In the raining season, it will be flooded. So, he did plant rice, it will be dead. I told you on the bus, here we have four seasons. Not inside all four seasons. Winter, too cold, so we cannot plant rice. So, we have two crops, one year. South side of Vietnam, they have no winter, so they have three crops, one year. Much better. But here in Ningbing, from summer to autumn, it is raining season, it's flooded. So, later when we go cycling, you can see rice field. But next autumn, you cannot see rice field. Yeah. And the mountain block with the world outside, it's only good for defending, not good for economy. Hanoi city, it is next to Red River Delta. Red River is good for plantation, agriculture and trade. And the third dynasty, they now they need to focus on economy and education. So that was the reason why we moved capital from here to Hanoi City. When we moved, we brought everything there. Gold, silver, jewel, kingdom, everything. So here, no more kingdom. Here, we built the temple to worship the emperor. Jewel, gold, not anymore. And uh, the third dynasty, they spent most of the time in Hanoi City. They created a society for the people. They live together from a small community. It grew bigger, bigger and bigger. Not only for Vietnamese, also for other people like Chinese. Yeah. And it still remains until nowadays. That place called the Oak Water, where you stay in the hotel. Each street represents each product like chicken, silver, bamboo, or oil. Alright? And they focus on education. Emperor Li Tai Tong, he ordered to build the first university of Vietnam, the Temple of Literature. So, you see that? Uh, the third dynasty, it was uh, one of the most longest and strongest dynasties of Vietnam. Last for 240 years. Right? And uh, yeah, so if you take a look right here. If you go to the old water and you go to the lake, you see the statue of the emperor. This is the one. This is Emperor Di Dai Tong. And this is the Temple of Literature, the first university of Vietnam. This is on uh, Han is in Hanoi City and also in, in our country, 100 thousand dollars. If you check the money, the green one, you see this one. It is a symbol. Right? And uh, yeah, so. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a little bit corner about our pre-history. Now we go inside the main temple where we worship the emperor of Vietnam. First emperor of Vietnam. This one. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, nowadays we don't have any king, we don't have any queen or royal family. Nowadays we have a totally new system. We have the national heroes or king or queen or princess or prince we worship them inside the temple and how do you know it is the temple worship of the national heroes how do you know this place for the buddha or for the god this place we call it temple temple only for national heroes not for god you see any statue inside no because for the buddha it is inside pagoda yeah pagoda for the buddha shrine for the god and temple for national heroes so how do you recognize this temple? Well, when you go inside, you need to take a look at the flag. The flag of the temple, it looks like this one. Let me show you. There are five colors, represent for five elements, which created the world we are stepping at. Not from the sky, remember, not from the sky. So first element, we have Red color represents for fire. Yellow represents for earth, land or soil. All about blue. 
Skyrim. No, not from Skyrim. Remember. Oh, so water. 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 Rivers. You want water. How about green? Very simple. Grass. Grass. Yeah. Tree. Nature. And the last element, white color. Do you know what it is? <laughs> what? Cloud. Not cloud, clouds yeah. on the sky. Because, yeah. This is elements we created. The world we are seeing it is very easy. Yeah. Soil. Soil. Soil is yellow. Yeah. So white color. It is metal. Oh. Yeah, like iron, silver, gold. Yeah. yeah. So five elements together created the world we are setting it right now. Represent for the living realm. Okay, for the living people. For the dead people, not here. On the haven or down the hill. All right, Vietnamese people. We also have a place for the god, but he's not here. A place called the four palaces. Yeah, or the shrine. Vietnamese people. We have ancient belief, and we believe about the nature, god of nature. But they are goddess, not men. Okay, and uh, nowadays. We have a lot of places like that for the people to come there and pray for the health, wealth, fortune, lucky money, and sometimes lots of And uh, you can see that nowadays we have no more king, no queen, no god, Buddha, Buddhist, Vietnam. Uh, 13%, 70% of the population, we follow no religion. All right? We have a lot of pagodas, but we go to pagoda because it is open for free. We come there for prayer, okay? And about the Christian, nowadays even more than Buddhist. Christian, 16%, okay? One six. And everybody living in harmony, so no more fighting, no more hatred, and no uh, conflicts between other religions. And also about our past, about the history. Uh, in the past, we had a lot of wars. Five years again, the Japanese, 20 years again, the American. 100 years against the French and many many times against the Chinese and Mongolian. But nowadays everybody's good friend. Vietnam, China, Japan, America, France, everybody's good friend nowadays. No more hatred. And ladies and gentlemen, normally everybody knows about our history. It is Vietnam War. But the, the war against the Chinese or something like that, not very much people know about it. And so I hope today you guys know something and learn something about our country. Alright? And thank you for listening. Thank you.